Hello, welcome back to my channel. So I want to talk about Branwyn and Chaz in this last episode of Love After Lockup. But before I get to that, so I was just sitting on YouTube like an hour ago and I saw Crystal made a video from True Feelings by me. Check out her channel. But apparently she was watching, I guess, this last episode of Love After Lockup and a commercial popped up and it showed like a short little trailer with just Ty and some other girl. But Ty is going to be coming back for another season. I'm not sure if it's going to be love during lockup or love after lockup. But they show her wearing a wedding dress and going wedding dress shopping. And I've been trying to find a clip on the internet and haven't been able to find it. But once I find out more about this, I'll be sure to talk about it. But I really hope it's not going to be another season of love during lockup where she's still trying to date inmates behind bars. Because I want to see somebody get out because otherwise it just gets boring after a while. So let's go ahead and talk about Brandon and Chaz. So Brandon went over to her friend's house to help her friend do some work around the house because Brandon went to construction school before she went to prison and she knows a thing or two about working on things and she was surrounded by her friends who were all wearing plaid looking like the crackhead Charlie's Angels and that one girl with the black wig we see right here in the middle that is actually the same girl that allegedly got Brandon back into prostitution like when I found her escort profile that girl Tara that was in the middle she's the same girl she was advertising two girl appointments with and she had multiple reviews from the past two months from multiple people who saw the two of them together at once and Brandon was looking so different to me this season compared to the last she has darker and longer hair now and she has a Monroe piercing which I kept thinking was a mole in her confessionals and she has definitely lost some weight compared to last season so then Chaz is going to be coming down to visit Branwyn for her birthday because they have been apart this whole time because she has to stay back in Oregon due to her probation so her friends were recommending she take him to the strip club and give him a lap dance and show him a good time and Branwyn just looked like she wasn't even about to consider that she just seemed disgusted at the idea that and Brandon says it's been a difficult time being in a long distance relationship with Chaz. She said that they really didn't get to spend much time together once they got married and her and Chaz were never intimate and her friends were straight being messy. They're like, well, do you even think Chaz is sexy? And she says she thinks he's cute and sexy and stuff, but she said he's not aggressive like the type of men that she's normally into. So she knows it's bothering Chaz that they've yet to be intimate. So she kept blaming it on the fact she's insecure with her body and doesn't feel comfortable with it. Even when she said it, she knew it sounded like BS because this was her face when she said it. And she said she was skinny and toned before she went to prison. But if you see her now compared to her before she got locked up, she's even skinnier now. And like when she had more meat on her bones when she went to prison last time. And I've seen this from people time and time again in the past seasons when people are using people that's their golden excuse they like to pull out of their pocket oh it's not you it's me i don't feel comfortable in my own skin and it's just like girl you're not comfortable enough to have sex with your husband but you're comfortable enough to have sex with random men on the internet who pay you like Brandon is 40 years old she just needs to be upfront honest with this poor man stop playing games and wasting his time like Brandon was asked if Chaz gives her butterflies by her friends and she just said uh i don't think so and obviously no he doesn't give you butterflies because if he did you wouldn't even have to think twice about it and then we tv they're doing chaz dirty they showed pictures comparing chaz to Brandon's ex and they tried to find the worst picture of chaz possible and compared it to a picture of aaron Brandon's ex with his shirt off and it just reminded me so much of last season when Rick and Ray Dean were in the hot tub. And like Ray Dean's like, oh, I love his smile. And then they show like a video clip of him with his teeth looking yellow as possible. Like the worst picture possible they could find of him. And showed it right as she was saying that stuff. I'm like, wait, TV, you ain't shit for that. But anyways, so Brainwind is at a crossroads because she doesn't know if she should move to Kentucky with Chaz, even though she ain't really feeling him or she stays where she is in Oregon all her friends were doing everything 
anything to talk her into staying in Oregon and make her second guess her and Chaz's marriage. Even though Branwyn already said that she feels like if she doesn't move to Kentucky with Chaz, her chances of success are extremely low. And we know how that's worked out for her because she recently just went back to jail and got out not even a few weeks ago. And then she's kept saying, oh, well, Chaz is the first guy that has the type of values I like. But that's really the only good thing she could say about him. She wasn't really saying she's head over heels in love with him. And it just seemed like, you know, the mask for Branwood seems like is really slipping. And she's starting to be more of herself because it seemed like last season she was really walking on eggshells and being really careful on how she was portrayed in front of the TV. And this season she don't give a damn. Then they decide to catch up with Chaz back in Kentucky, and he was about to play a concert with his band, so he decided to FaceTime Branwyn so she could watch. And I was watching the show with my mom, and when Chaz says that he's been married five times, my mom just said, Jesus. And Chaz just said that he's still in awe, that he has this amazingly smoking hot wife that loves him. But that's what Chaz's problem is. He thought he could buy himself a trophy wife, but you can't turn a hoe into a housewife, Chaz. So then the lead singer of Chaz's band tried to drill him and asked him how things have been and that he's had a chance to even sleep with her yet. And Chaz said no. He tried to blame her curfew on part of the reason why he hasn't been able to and the fact she has to stay back in Oregon because of her probation. And then his bandmate was like, look, dude, she just got out of prison. You know what's going to keep her out of trouble? You need to keep her away from people who cause trouble, people who help get her there to begin with. But, you know, Brynwood's already back to hanging out with her friend Jessica, who she even said last season she couldn't live with because Jessica was using. And this Tara girl is allegedly one of the people that got her back into selling herself again. So she's already gone back to her old friends, and it makes sense since she's already back to going back to jail and doing things she's not supposed to do. So Chaz is sitting there playing with his band, and Brandon's watching, but the whole time she's on video chat watching, she has Aaron off to the side, just out of view where Chaz couldn't see him. And then when Chaz is done with his performance and he's like, oh, did you like that, baby? She's like, yep, good job, baby. And then she looks over at Aaron and she's like, yeah, that was hella weird. So her true colors are definitely showing this season. But that's it for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.